The Waldorf Education was founded in Germany in 1919 with the belief that every child is an enthusiastic and engaged learner. Today, the Waldorf schools are preparing to celebrate their educational centennial by connecting students around the globe through a worldwide postcard exchange. Here to tell us more about the Waldorf School of Baltimore and this unique project are Stacy Henderson and Edna Emmett. Welcome. Thank you so much I'm for happy having to us. Have you here. Yes. So I've seen the Waldorf schools. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the Waldorf schools are, if you imagine the sun rising all over the globe, yes. there's a child waking up and going to a Waldorf school. Oh, well, because that's a sweet image. Yeah, <laughs> because that school is in Japan, in India, in China, and coming west to Europe and going further to Americas. Yeah. North and south, so yeah. all weathers and all days. Everywhere. Everywhere. And so the unifying factor, talk about the Waldorf education. What is it exactly? Definitely. So for the Waldorf School of Baltimore, our mission is to teach children to think, feel, and act with depth, imagination, and purpose. The thinking is that children are multifaceted beings and that they come into the world exactly the way they are and the trick is to find an education that unlocks their potential so that they have the experiential learning piece. They can understand what it's like to complete a task and then use those skills to inform how other tasks can be completed. And so how do you do that? Is this sort of a hands-on educational approach? Is it um, doing activities or is it more rote with books or is it all of it? That's it's excellent. All it's it. all of it's it, all definitely. Of it. Definitely. It's truly uh, art imbued education. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because whatever they get as an idea, they express it through the body in movement, mm -hmm. drama, music, and visual art. And right. what ages? We go from nursery for, from parent child classes at 10 months up to eighth grade. Wow. Yes. So you can really be there that entire time from 10. It's it very rare that you can get a school that you can start at 10 months <laughs> and be all the way through. And you said mm -hmm. all over the world. Yes. And because it's all over the world, you are able to mark your centennial with a yes. very special project. And I want to talk about the postcard project. How did it even come to, to your mind to do this. That's wonderful. So there are several associations. There's the International Association of Waldorf Schools and the North American Association of Waldorf Schools. With our, with our group, the North American group, we received a beautiful package in the mail of roughly 1,400 cards and instructions to mail these cards to our sister schools across the country, or oh, across wow. the world. And uh, the, simple, the, the instructions are very simple. Find something that captures who you are as a student or a parent in our community or a board member, a faculty member, mm -hmm. something unique about our school, our city, our state, our country, to write that down with picture. We've had poems, we've had songs, we've had little snippets, and then we send it out. And it's really just a hard copy smile Look that, that. Uh, tells other students and other families and teachers and schools across the world, uh, this is who we are, and we're pretty great. They're really good, too. Yes. Look at that drawing. <laughs> and so they make these postcards. Yes. And then they're sending them out. What have the students said about the project and even receiving the postcards? I'm holding one now. I'll show it when we pop back up. Um, this one came to your school all the way from India. Yes. I mean, and this is just one of many. I'm, oh, the next one is from Australia. Yes. I mean, it's all over. <laughs> so yes, what are your students? I mean, I'm sure your <laughs> students are just so excited. They're so excited. I think for them, it, it broadens their world. Uh, mm -hmm. Right now, their world is mom, dad, siblings, their school, their family, their friends. But suddenly, as Edna pointed out, they're part of this larger movement of Waldorf schools. Mm -hmm. And they, again, they're saying verses, they're engaging in exercises and music and movements that are consistent across our method. Well, congratulations to you guys Thank about you. celebrating your centennial. If you want to get more information, you can go to the website that was just on your screen. Thank, Thank you, you both for joining us. Thank you very and we'll much. be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.